All right, we're back. I have rehydrated and cooked myself and the air, and now I can continue. I gave you the boot, even though you're a hero. Feels bad, doesn't it? You should have given me Monica when you had the chance. Didn't think Mr. God would actually help you strip away her admin authority, but he didn't break any rules, so I can't put him accountable. This little stunt is but a minor hindrance. I have other ways to access the system. Send me back there. Nah. Send me back there or I'll kill you. You can't kill me. Chill out. Shut the fuck up and send me back there, you fucking bitch. Even if I could, there's no point. You're too far gone, mate. The next time you show up, he's gonna just kick you out again. I don't care. You should, because the third time you show up demanding entry, he will delete your existence. And you can't save your friends from his clutches if you're gone. Save them? No, I just need to denounce you. It doesn't hurt. It don't matter. If you want to blame anyone, blame the player in your head. They are the ones choosing the choices necessary for my route. Hope you're proud of yourself, player. I am, for deliberately choosing the worst options, either to see where this goes or just to be a troll. If you actually chose all of the bad options without a single dose of irony, then you need to go touch grass or seek mental health or both. Have your therapist schedule a session out there in the middle of your field so you can touch and eat grass like a goat. It's healthier than staying at home as an edgy cunt. The point is, you're now on my route now, baby. Now, 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 now. No changing that fast. It's a good thing, too, since this route, since his route is also another bad end. You? Fuck you. He's my ally. He will not give me the bad end. You will. I can feel I... your resentment. He said it. But I can, but I have to make you understand something really important. So please, hear me out. You can choose to ignore my words, of course, but I advise you to believe me. Not for my benefit, but yours. What do you want about? Let me put it this way. You know how Merkaba wants to eradicate the unclean ones. He hates whatever that is unlawful, and he hates anyone who doesn't follow the rules. Now, knowing what's going on in the player's world right now, what do you think would happen if Makava somehow escaped this program and appear in the player's dimension? Appeared. He would make the world a better place? Oh, you sweet summer child. If he's not stuck in this game mod like me, the first thing he'll do is to find the nuclear launch codes from every country in the player's reality. And we'll all be dead after the nukes drop. What? He'll nuke... He'll nuke the entirety of Gaia, for Gaia is a planet full of chaos and conflict and pain. To create a perfect world, this particular world needs to start over, at least in his perspective. Of course, the nuke will destroy the player and their device, which will in turn wipe us all out. He wants to fulfill his duty to God, consequences be damned. He wants to make the perfect world of law and order, and he will stop at nothing to achieve that goal. Even if it kills the innocent, good people of the world? Yeah. To him, the end justifies the means, even when the end is oblivion. That's... The good thing is Dimension Conversion Program actually provided him a world that he could control, so he won't go after the player's world. However, in order to make this dimension the perfect lawful world, he will need you to die. What? Merkaba has already planned to kill you since the moment you existed. He plans to use you to defeat me, erasing the only obstacle in his plan. And at that point, he would have already brainwashed you into thinking that everything he says is right, and he will then ask you to delete yourself for the greater good. No, that can't be right. You're lying to me. Oh, really? I'm lying to you. Me giving you a spoiler from another route of this mod is evil, but accusing me of lying about the spoiler is another layer of evil. How about this, player beyond the screen? If you don't believe me, go ahead. Try going through the whole mod without or while choosing the good options. Or maybe you've done that already and knew what's at stake, thus you chose this route to see if this is the better choice. Go ahead, 
Do what you need to do and try to prove me wrong. Even a mouse with a potato for a brain can traverse through different iterations of this universe without problem. Oh, you're just gonna take my word for it. I cool. Ah, we'll get the bad Merkaba ending next time. I, but, but why? Because of the player. We cannot control the player, and you are connected to the player. The player can influence you, and you in turn can influence Macabre's perfect world, which makes you a liability. You can make excuses, try to talk it out with him, try to promise him you'll be a goody two-shoes no matter what. It don't matter, not even if you, the player, had chosen all the goody two-shoes choices. He ain't gonna take that risk. He can and will delete every imperfection that he encounters in his pursuit for paradise. There's no winning scenario for you should you follow that bastard's footsteps. That's... I struggle to get the words out. Memories of my conversations with Merkaba rush through my mind. He doesn't show, but... I noticed, somehow, Merkaba isn't subtle about showing his disdain towards the things he doesn't agree with. I cannot deny. No... That's not. My heart beats faster and louder. I can feel heat coursing through my body. Fair! I'm mad. No shit, it ain't fair. I need to get them back. I have to save them. But of course. We gotta do something about this. Ain't fun seeing you getting cut by that god simping bastard. I have an idea. And I need your help to make it happen. Oh, really? Let me hear it. Keep in mind, though, I would need something of equal value in return for favors. Ah! Player, where the hell were you? I was running from my life. I'm running from my life? Running for my life just now? All the way to the entrance of that garden! I'm going to shove your head up the tower's left nipple! Lucy Goosey's gone for Sir! I knew I shouldn't have trusted him! I just wanted him to help me beat Merkava up, and I don't like his terms and insulted him! God damn it, I shouldn't have done that! Shouldn't have done that! Now he's pissed because a mere mortal like me dared to refuse his deal with such rudeness! Merkava, can you hear me? Please let me in! I repent that I denounce Lucifer the Demon Lord! Ali, how did you arrive here? I have banished you. There shouldn't be any method for you to appear in this dimension. I prayed and prayed and God answered! I was wrong. I shouldn't have been influenced this easily by the player's choices. Please forgive me, for I have sinned. How are you going to prove your worth? I, I'm going to defeat Lucifer where I stand, right here and now. Is that so? If you truly have known your sins and are willing to repent, the powers I have bestowed upon you, whilst weakened, should be enough to destroy him in this space. Running home to Fennobrain's tits just to save your ass. Typical off egg. Come at me then, you fucking pussy. And his words, not mine. Lucifer attacks with unstoppable rage. Alright, he's got the same amount of health as evil Monica. Well, um... Should <laughs> I still just send my allies at him? I don't actually know. You know, I'll just outright attack to start with. Press the attack. No defying master Lucifer. Unamara failed to activate due to Lucifer's presence as an opponent. Lucifer is paralyzed by the holy air around them. Shit. Lucifer's turn skipped. But I didn't get to do an attack either, so, uh... I, I don't know what's up with that. Uh... Natsuki, help! Blair called for help, but nobody came. Mm-hmm. Unamara failed to activate. Spent. Don't do it, Lucy! Lucifer is about to commit an unthinkable act! <laughs> Merkava interrupted Lucifer's unthinkable act. <laughs> Slurs are unlawful, you foolish demon. I will finger your right nipple hole. Eh, weird. All right, well, uh, let's let's call Yuri. Like help for help, but nobody came. Mark can't help us. No, he's not. Merkava won't let it. Oh, he said something different that time. Oh, no, no, he didn't. <laughs> That's the same thing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Sayori called for help, but nobody came. Mm-hmm. Just for smiles menacingly. I'm unable to move. Eh, but... Well, that means I can't do anything at all. I pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. HP slightly restored. Wasn't hurt. <laughs> the player inflicts conceptual damage upon Lucifer. 
Hey, we can hurt my prey. Wee. I'm gonna say the N word. Is this all you do? <laughs> Hooray. Oh, wait, no, that time I actually was a different set. Profanity is forbidden here. Fuck you, I've got a pass. Alright, well, uh, I guess this is the only thing we can do, so we'll just keep praying. Each of the little star. Inflict sun from damage. It's going down. Lucifer attacks with chaos magic. Attack failed due to holy environment. Eden. Hey, look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Re indeed. Attacks with chaos magic. Failed. He, he, we can't do anything to each other, so we just keep praying. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yup, yup. Realized with the holy air. Shit. Okay. Praying. We're getting there. Down to 444. Oh, I was hoping our cobble would finish him, but oh well, I guess the praying will have to do it. And there he goes. Three. No! How could this happen? Is is it over? Confirmed. Lucifer's energy signatures have disappeared. Merkava approaches me with pride. Well done. I am impressed. Only a true, pure-hearted being could defeat Lucifer. It is an intelligent choice to lure him here, so he will be severely weakened by the holy energy within the garden. You have earned redemption. Come in. Wait, did I actually wrap around to the good ending by trying to get the bad ending? <laughs> Please wait right here as I go inform your friends that you have returned. They will be ecstatic to hear the news. Really? Of course, now that you are one of us once more, there will be a feast to commemorate your return. <laughs> will there be any pudding? Ah, uh, up. Ah, uh, of course, there will be the finest pudding made from heaven vanilla. Because I'll be putting these nuts in your mouth. You. What? Oh, you like that joke? Mr. Legma taught me that joke. Cool, huh? Who is this Legma person? Legma balls, lol. Kill him, he's cringe. Um, What's wrong? Can't you take a joke, Joe? My name isn't Joe. Joe Mama! Enough! Ugh. Rekava seems to be in pain. I thought Lucifer was just trolling, but I can't believe it actually worked. You... Do you realize what you have done? Nope, not really. Those are chaotic, weaponized, mimetic triggers designed to conceptually damage and weaken me. What is the meaning of this? Got him. Billy! Sarah, Natsuki, and Yuri, they're running towards us. What's going on? Mr. Cobb, Why did he say that you fall into the dark side? There must be a reasonable explanation for this, right, Henley? Enough talk. No explanation is required. He has betrayed us. He is now an agent of chaos. How dare you deceive me? How dare you attack me after I've pardoned you? <laughs> All of them stare at me with disbelief. I'm sorry, everyone. I have no choice. So, what Mr. Ricardo said was... Partially true. I've gone dark mode, but I only plan to betray him, not all of you. And now I need to save you all from him. Yeah, but... I don't understand. Arkhaba is our ally, right? He lied to us. I know whatever words coming out of my mouth right now will be con BS considering what you've heard from him, but... I'm not the evil one. He is. He was planning to kill me after our world has been created. <laughs> All of them out of the gasp. What? You're kidding, right? Is this true, Arkhaba? And here I thought you have seen the errors of your ways. With Lucifer gone, you're just a filthy worm in the way of perfection. Now disappear like you're supposed to. Oh, shit! Uh, a shield of light blocks Merkaba's attack. S Sayori. Hmm. Sayori's looking at Merkaba with an intense expression. That's a face that I've never seen her make before. Whenever she's uh, angry, whenever, whenever she uh, angry, she pouts and frowns and then it's over. This anger, no, rage, coming from her is nothing like that. Mr. Arkaba, what do you mean he's supposed to disappear? 
The player beyond the screen comes from a world of chaos. To create the ultimate utopia, Halley must be purged to avoid any contamination. His final duty as the Messiah is to delete his own existence so he could sever the connection between the player and this world. It's a noble act that will ensure the peace of this universe. No! No! I can't let him disappear! This is not fair! He, he tried so hard to save us all, and now they killed me with us! I don't want that! I love him! I want to be with him! If you're gonna delete him, then you have to delete me as well! Sayori... I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt, Markala, but I was wrong. I should have known that you cannot be trusted. I can't let you sacrifice Halley just to make the world perfect. If a world without Halley is perfection to you, then I reject such a vile perfection. Yuri! You... you dare reject my hand, half-demon! I, in my infinite mercy, quelled my rage and accepted your vile serpentine existence in this garden, and yet you defy me! Shut up already, you topless freak! You're not taking away my brother! I'm not going to lose him again! I don't want to live in a world without him! I'd rather live in the hell with him around! Says. So be it. You have succumbed to the filth. All of you disappoint me. You disappoint me the most, Halley. I was about to provide you the title of Messiah, as you have aided me in destroying the main obstacle in completing this perfect world. Your responsibility as a messiah is to sacrifice yourself so this world can be free from the player's influence, ensuring that the rules in this world can no longer be broken. Yup, what did I tell you? That guy's off his rocker. <laughs> Shh, stick to the plan. Don't even try to talk to me mentally. Shit will hit the fan if he knows I'm still here inside your head. He cannot hear me, but he can hear you. Go ahead, ask him whatever it is on your mind, and let's see if you like the answers or not. Hmm. And if I sacrifice myself, this world will be perfect? Correct. How perfect are we talking about here? A world without sickness, old age, and death. A world without suffering. A world without heartache. A world where everyone has their every need taken care of. A world where everyone prays to and praises the Lord above every day. A world where the ones who defy the Lord's will shall be purged. A world where filth is eradicated without question. A paradise perfected. A peaceful universe that lasts for eternity. Hmm. Ask him about the non-believers. If there's someone in that world who doesn't believe in God? Unbelievers are unclean. Do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? 2 Corinthians 6.14 Defied Conclusion, they shall be purged. Ask him about the gays. What if a boy in that world decided that he likes another boy, and both of them genuinely love each other? You, a man, shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. Leviticus 18.22 defied. Conclusion, both shall be purged. What if we don't like the rules you've set? You will be purged. What does purge mean? You will die a painful death as your very being is reduced into atoms. Your soul will burn in hell for defying the will of the Lord. No way! Just as I suspected. Yeah, figures. Okay, I've heard enough. I'm satisfied. So, do you wish to once again repent? Nope. That world ain't perfect. There's no freedom. There's no joy. I ain't living there. No way. Your thirst for freedom has consumed you. 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 Order. Oh, no, it wasn't done. That ain't order. That's slavery with extra steps. Any sane person would reject that. Your rules aren't okay at all. You're not an angel. You're just a meanie. This isn't perfection. This is madness. I was a fool to trust you. No matter, filth. Your opinion is not valid now that you are all confirmed to be unclean agents of chaos. The primary objective was to liberate your souls and create the perfect world for the pure, clean souls to inhabit with. Since you have all decided to become unclean filth, I shall purge all of you. That's not fair. I don't think he cares, sis. Looks like we have no choice but to fight back. All who defy me are filth. 
All who will not cooperate are filth. All of you will be deleted for the greater good. Only Monica will remain, which deviates from the ideal result. But no matter. It is a necessary sacrifice.